It's a lot of food, a lot of food. I know, Still trying I'm to like, digest. We got to move on from the hot dog <laughs> eating contest to talk about mussels. Mm -hmm. Okay, a different type of food, but you're not going to want to eat these. Uh, apparently, you, there's oysters and and, and pearls, pearls uh, and mussels, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I, I knew that I, from years ago, but I forgot about that. <laughs> Whenever I shuck a muscle, I'm not looking for a pearl. <laughs> but apparently, there's a place downtown. It's called Pearl and the Beast, and you can do just that. Crystal Young. Yes. I never heard. Well, first yeah. of all, I, I got a muscle education because I love muscles, but I did right. not know that you can get several in a giant muscle. Also oysters, so both, right? Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying to remember when you go to a store, where you go to a restaurant, mm -hmm. they give you mussels. Mm -hmm. They're already shucked, right? Uh, well, they're already open they're cracked, and, and yeah. cooked, yeah. or right, exactly. So took, or if they're raw, they they, oh, they took the pearls out. You know what? Somebody's got your pearls, girl. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's what's happening. Back. There's How been can a she pearl clutch abduction. Her pearls if someone takes them. <laughs> what? <laughs> True, true. true. Queen of the clutching of the pearls there. Yeah, oh, oh, I love that. How can you clutch the imaginary oh, no. pearls? Well, you got to go to Pearl and the Beast. Okay. It's fun, it's interactive, it's family friendly, and in the end, you get jewelry that you make. Okay? Pearl and the Beast. Here's the story. Take a look. Peter Piper picked a pickled pepper, but that's probably because he didn't know that he could pick a pearl or two. At Pearl and the Beast, you go fishing for mussels, but first, you'll have to find this place. It's on Howard Street in Soho, but basement level. Once you walk down the stairs, a pearl wonderland awaits. Pearl and the Beast lets you choose your own muscle, shuck it open, extract the pearls, and then you become the jewelry designer creating your own custom accessories. It's such a fun and unique experience. With a robust media presence, Pearl and the Beast stays busy, attracting locals and tourists. I kind of want to make, like, a necklace, because pearl necklaces are very in the summer. Absolutely. So, yeah. And it's very unique, because I don't think anyone has pearls like these that I've seen. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. I'm super excited about that. The business is the brainchild of Brooklynite Crystal, who at just 23 says she had a great idea and went for it. It's like a little um, head and dreams inside of each muscle. You take out your own pearl, you don't know what's coming inside. Um, I'm kind of a person that will think of something, I'm do it. Now she owns the first and only muscle shop in the country. Working with two local muscle farms, she gets muscles delivered at least once a week. One fresh catch of the day is $70 to $80 per muscle, depending on what type of muscle you pick. A classic muscle usually has 15 to 30 pearls. It's the most popular. Edison gives you one giant pearl. Mostly used for a big um, necklace, simple okay. necklace. Baroque uh, came out one, two, four pieces. The pearl came out big and shiny. That usually has more than two color blend on the same pearl. Then there's Weirdo. I'd say this pearl shape lives up to its name. And if you happen to get a muscle that washes up empty, you can pick another, or you'll get at least 15 pearls free of charge. Even though there's a sign that says this process is like the lottery, you won't leave empty-handed. I've got my tray, I've got my tongs, and I have been eyeing a muscle. I would like to grab this one. Look at that. Now I just have to get this thing open. Each muscle has a hole on the edge right here. Step in, slide through. While you slide it, kind of give a little bit twist. Without losing any fingers, I finally got my classic muscle opened. Up, up, up. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. so here's the pearl. I carefully extracted the pearls, taking my time, removing them from the muscle membrane. Then they all get a bath. So this is really cleaning my pearls. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. It will kill all the bacteria mm. on the pearls. Okay. It also make the pearl shiny because when the pearl came out, it covered with a lot of dirt. While the pearls soak, it's the perfect opportunity to cruise the room and decide what jewelry setting you want. A necklace, a ring, you can even create something quirky. The settings are gold-plated or sterling silver. Once chosen, it's time for you to dry your pearls. This machine shakes out all the water and moisture. A store associate will help you turn your pearls into wearable art. I decided on a cute pair of pearl earrings. It's clear whoever said diamonds are a girl's best friend never stopped into Pearl and the Beast.
you go. Now, I am holding my earrings. Let me hold them steady. My sister always laughs at me, and she goes, you like wimpy jewelry. <laughs> you know, I just don't like heavy earrings or mm. like heavy jewelry. Yeah. But this is what I did with just two of my pearls, and you get the rest of the pearls. So I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to I'm gonna try. My, my hand is a little crusty. I need some lotion. But <laughs> there's other pearls in my hand because you leave with the rest of your pearls. So how much did it cost you to, to go okay. pearl shucking? So the first cost is picking the muscle, right? So right. $70 to $80, depending on what you pick. And then when you look at all of the things that you can turn it into, little thin necklaces or earrings or rings, you then pay for whatever that piece of metal is. So it's $50, $60, $70. I would say maybe $150 you could leave with a cool pair of you know, earrings. What's the average jewelry. number of pearls you find inside a muscle? So it really depends. Classic is the most pearls that you're going to get out of a muscle, 15 to 30. I would say the average is maybe like 25, 26. The owner said 33 pearls were the most ever found really? in one muscle in her shop, but some one big fat pearl. But you pick. You kind of know. You're like, oh, I want the weirdo, weird shapes. Mm. Ooh, I want the Edison. That's one big one. So you kind of decide everything. And <laughs> And then what happens with the actual muscle? Okay, well, it, it goes bye-bye. It meets its maker. It's going to muscle heaven. And where do they get it, these it, muscles from? They, they come from a farm. She said, I started out with several farms. I now work with two upstate. Huh. I know. Inquiring minds want to know, right? Very interesting. Let, let, me, let me tell you. You can go in as a group, buy one, and then get a lot of pearls, <laughs> and then take them, and you can sell you them know, on the street you, and make you, money back. We, we got all kinds of ways to get around. Mm -hmm. Are you a native New Yorker? Because you, <laughs> you think like what? I'm thinking. You got the, you got the pearl muscle scam going. You're like, hold on. Investment we, returns. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 22 <laughs> Howard Street, though. Go. 22 Howard Street in Soho. It is super popular. They are kicking the door down. People are coming by themselves, bringing people. It's fun. Okay, thank you. Okay. Gotta go.